Vanilla is a tropical climbing vine of the orchid family, grown for its pleasant flavor. Vanilla is one of the costliest spices in the market after saffron and grows with the support of bark of trees. There are more than 40 species of vanilla exist. However, only three of them are considered as important ones. Vanilla planifolia andrews is the variety widely cultivated on large scale. This variety has more commercial value for its vanillin. Vanilla vine is perennial in nature which belongs to the family of Orchidaceae and genus of vanilla. Madagascar is the top producer of vanilla in the world. Usually, vanilla plants start the first yield after 3 years of planting and continue to give the yield up to 12 to 14 years. Generally, the vanilla crop is grown as an intercrop in the fields of coconut and areca nut. The vanilla vines can be grown in indoors, greenhouse even in pots and containers. The initial investment for the cultivation of vanilla is little when compared to other spices. Vanilla also can be grown hydroponically. Vanilla gives higher yields when it is grown under shade net or as a pure crop rather cultivating as intercrop. Basically, vanilla is a tropical orchid crop which requires high humidity, shade, and moderate temperatures. Madagascar, Indonesia, China, New Guinea, Mexico, Turkey, Tonga, Uganda, French Polynesia, Comoros are the top 10 production countries of vanilla. The vanilla extract has anti-aging properties. It is helps in healing burns, wounds, and cuts, and also helps in treating anxiety and depression. This vanilla extract aids in weight loss, relieves nausea, relieves digestive disorders and promotes healthy hair and skin. The vanilla extract is best for treatment for acne and good for dental health. Basically, vanilla crop requires warm and humid conditions for its growth. This crop also requires a well-distributed annual rainfall of 150 to 350 centimeters. A temperature range of 25 C to 34 C is best for vanilla cultivation. Vanilla can be grown above mean sea level of 1,400 meters. Vanilla crop prefers more than 45% shade and grows well under filtered light. The area where these conditions are not met. Vanilla cultivation can be taken in shade house fitted with micro sprinklers and foggers. The vanilla crop grows well in loose and friable soils with any of loamy texture. However, it requires high organic matter content in the soil for better yield. Well-drained soils are important for vanilla and it prefers lands with a gentle slope. The required soil pH range for vanilla cultivation is 6.5 to 7.5. Give a couple of plowings to bring the soil to a fine tilth stage and remove any weeds from previous crops. Soil should be prepared to drain out the water. In case of the soils which are not fertile, make sure to supplement the organic manure during land preparation. As vanilla vines need support to grow, any kind of living trees or rock pillars, iron pillars can be arranged for supporting the vanilla vines. The vanilla crop is propagated by shoot cuttings or seeds. However, shoot cutting method is followed in commercial cultivation of the vanilla crop. The reason being is the seed propagation is very difficult to establish a vanilla orchard as the seeds are very small. When you select the planting material there are two options, one is longer cuttings and other is shorter cuttings. Longer cuttings start flowering in the second year itself whereas short cuttings take three years to flower. However, longer cuttings have slow growth when compared to shorter ones. It's up to you judge the cutting length depending on the availability of material and the area to be planted. Strong, healthy, and actively growing vines should be selected as planting material in vanilla cultivation. Shoot cuttings. Preferably having 8 to 10 internodes should be selected as planting material as these flowers earlier than the shorter cuttings. The ideal planting time for the vanilla orchard is when there is moisture present in the weather which is not too rainy or dry conditions. Cuttings should be close to the base of the support. Make sure that the vines are not directly exposed to the sun in the afternoon by planting the cuttings in the northeast direction. As vanilla vines need support to grow, provide any support such as living trees, wooden stakes, stone pillars, or any iron pipes. Vanilla cuttings should be planted in the soils which have a medium in organic content. 
Well decomposed organic manure or vermicompost should be filled in the trenches made at a spacing of 8 feet in these trenches support pillars of 7 feet long should be placed at a spacing of 6 feet 2 cuttings of each should be planted around one pole. As per this spacing, the vanilla plant density would be around 2400 to 2500 vines per acre. These vines should be trained on wires tied between the pillars at 5 feet height. Vanilla plants produce more yields in a controlled environment like greenhouse and shade nets. In this environment, the required humidity, light, and temperatures can be maintained which is pretty much essential for commercial cultivation of vanilla. Any net providing 60% of shade can be considered and support of 12 feet pillars can be used to provide required shade. For proper irrigation and humidity requirement, microsprinklers with both irrigation and misting slash fogging facility should be installed in the shade net house. Usually, vanilla plants start flowering from the third year of planting. Irrigation should be stopped before one month the flowering and the tips of the vines should be pruned. During this stage, abundant irrigation should be provided to induce more flowers. Natural self-pollination is suitable. However, artificial pollination should be carried out by hand with the help of a pointed bamboo. Splinter a stiff grass or a sharpened toothpick to get fruit set. The best time for pollination is 7 am to 12 pm. On average, a skilled worker can pollinate 1,000 to 2,000 flowers slash day. It is preferred to pollinate only the first form 7 to 10 flowers on the lower side of the inflorescence. It is also recommended to maintain only 10 to 12 inflorescences per each vine in order to get beans with maximum length and girth and of high quality standards. The flowering is spread over a period of three weeks. Mulching, irrigation, shade management and trailing are main intercultural activities in vanilla plantation. Dried leaves or coconut leaves or husks can be used as mulch material to protect the soil from erosion, moisture loss. Mulching also helps in weed control and enriches the soil fertility. Vanilla crop responds very well to organic manure. Well decomposed farmyard manure like cow dung, vermicompost, or organic inputs can be applied as manures in vanilla cultivation. To spread the vanilla plant roots, loose soil structure is essential which can be achieved through organic debris. Irrigation plays a major role to achieve high yields. First two to three years after planting the vanilla seedlings, regular watering is required especially during dry and hot summer seasons. It requires irrigation once in two days. Sprinkler irrigation is ideals for vanilla cultivation as it is best suited for microclimate. One can opt for micro-irrigation or drip irrigation as well. Water stagnation or flooding should be avoided as this crop is very sensitive to these conditions. In order to limit the growth of the plant, the trailing operation should be carried out. In a vanilla orchard, vine growth should be limited to 150 to 160 centimeters height to facilitate vines should be trailed by coiling them around the branches of the support pillars or on horizontal support without allowing the vines to touch the ground. The vanilla beans develop very quickly and obtain a full size in six weeks after pollination and manuring. However, it takes beans 8 to 11 months for getting matured. Vanilla is ready for harvest between 6 and 9 months after flowering when the pods are still dark green and the tip is beginning to turn yellow. The vanilla beans should be harvested when the distal end turns pale yellow in color. Generally, on an average, 80 to 90 mature beans make 1 kilogram of vanilla. There are different stages involved to get the final product. Curing, sweating, drying, and conditioning are the stages involved. Once the mature vanilla beans have been picked, they are sorted according to size and condition. Sorted beans are dipping in hot water at 63-65 OC for 3 to 4 minutes. The warm beans are wrapped in dark colored cotton fabric and after a day they are laid on slat platforms to dry in the open sun for an hour. For about a week, the beans are left for 2 hours a day to dry in the sun and rolled in. Cloth between drying session. At this stage, the vanilla beans have become quite supple. For the next two or three months, the vanilla beans are spread on racks in the shade or in well-ventilated rooms to allow their full flavor and fragrance to develop. After, vanilla beans are sorted in an open airy place and graded according to length before they are bundled for shipment. 
By this time, their aroma is quite remarkable.